All right, this one's going to be on a, a lightweight image viewer called XXIV. It stands for Simple X Image Viewer. And I really like this a lot. It does, um, well, it has Vim hotkeys. So that's one thing. Uh, another thing is that it can do animated GIFs, uh, which you can't really do in the terminal. So that's another reason why we want to use it. Uh, anyways, this bus is out here. So this is the program. You can do F for full screen. And if you hit enter, it'll actually toggle between uh, the image and this one's called a thumbnail view. So these are all the thumbnails in that folder that we're at right now. So this is my wallpaper folder. But you can see here, these are all the, the, um, the images here. And I can go Vim style, you know, JK, uh, HL for Vim style. Or you can do arrow keys if you prefer the arrow keys to navigate around, right? And when you select one, you just hit enter and you can see it. Or you can do enter again, toggle between them, real simple like that. Uh, I can actually do slideshows. So let's say if I want to, um, you know, go to this image here, I hit S, and in five seconds it'll switch on to the next one automatically. So I'll wait here. So you can see there's uh, was at the bottom right corner here. It says five seconds right there. So that's how you know it's on. If you hit S again, it'll stop it. Uh, or you can do manually. You can hit N to go to the next one, or P to go back right um anything else you can do here now that one's for like still images but if you want to use like for gifs and stuff like that you can hit uh let's quit out of this here q we'll go into my gifs folder and you see here it'll do the animations right right away and i'll loop it uh endlessly i believe but anyways let's go to another one here there's another gifs here and look at that it does it fine um, so it can do Vim hockeys and do animations really well. It can do other stuff like rotate if you want to do that. So let me show you an example here. They actually have a list here in their man page. Uh, where's that one? Rotate. So you can do a rotate at the bottom here. I can get it up to where is that? Right. So you can actually rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, flip it over 180 um, you know fit to height or width whatever more hotkeys you can do but the general gist is that it's just an image viewer and I actually prefer this one over the other one called what's the other one called Feth Fe or whatever it is F-E-H um, I like this one better if, if you are asking my opinion which ones to use this one would be it um, anything else in here Oh yeah, the one thing I, I really wish um, this one has is that, you know, you have your thumbnails here, uh, and in Vim, you can actually jump to a number, like, you know, you say 5GG or something like that, but they don't have, like, a little number next to it, so you can't really do that. You actually have to manually, you know, go to that image, although it's not horrible because I don't have a lot of images, but uh, if there was, like, a mechanism to jump to a number... That'd be great. I mean, they, they do have jump to the top if you hit G all the way to the top or capital G to all the way to the bottom. But it doesn't have like in between, you know, like let's say, for example, I do 5GG or something like that. It does not go to the fifth uh, image, right? Um, other things you can do. Well, that's pretty much it. You know, that's all you want to do is just open an image, uh, slideshows or manually. And you can do like rotations, basic stuff you can do. Uh, if you want to integrate this with Ranger, um, this is how I did it. Uh, open up your Ranger rifle. What was it going? Rifle configuration should be in your home folder.conf, Ranger rifle.conf here. And all you got to do is you don't have to do it like me, but if you want to do just the basics, make sure you have the dash A. And that one is for like animations and stuff like that, like GIFs, right? If um, if you want to do like me, because I like it to open at a certain resolution in a certain, uh, certain corner. So when I open this, you can see that it fills this corner, the top right uh, corner, and at a certain resolution I like. Uh, if you want to do that, um, you have to actually do a dash G, and then you want the resolution to be whatever it is to match your um, you know your monitor and also this one is uh, the top right corner negative 15 plus 60 or whatever 
Um, so that's how I have it as. I'll post it in the description if you want to do that. But anyways, that's for Ranger. If you want to integrate that with Ranger when you open the folder or the image and it'll load up uh, the whole folder in that image. Anyways, that's it for the program. Um, they actually don't do comic books. I try to get the author to integrate it with, uh, you know, comics and stuff like that. But uh, he didn't want to do that because I really wanted to use this one, you know, to read comic books or mangas. Um, but as for right now, it's just an image viewer that can do rotations and stuff. Anywho, if you're looking for one, uh, this one's very lightweight, has all the Vim hotkeys or the normal hotkeys, and really recommended by me. That's it for this one.